Hi, my name is Maheen Ramatula. I am a current sophomore at MHS and a student leader of MCEE. And today I'm here to talk to you about imperative, num imperative number five, which is recruit and retain teachers of diverse backgrounds. And this imperative states that the district shall recruit, support, and retain culturally competent staff with diverse experiences, backgrounds, and perspectives to provide Minnetonka School District with the critical representation that they currently lack. Now, this is really important because it's safe to say that teachers spend a lot of time with students. Students are in school six to seven hours of their day, five days out of the week, nine months out of the, nine months out of the year for 12 to 13 years of their life. Teachers are one of the biggest touch points between, uh, or biggest touch points in a student's day-to-day -day life. So that's why it's so important to have culturally con competent and culturally responsive teachers. I know for a fact that um, I, in my many years of schooling, I've only ever had one teacher in my entire life who came from the same ethnic background as me. And having that experience, having that teacher who I knew came from the same background as me was an incredibly enlightening experience. For one of the first times in my life, a teacher was completely and fully understanding of why I had to take a day off for my religious holiday. A teacher was completely and fully understanding of the cultural differences that happened between home and school and it's it was an incredible experience to know that a teacher understands that to ha know that a teacher is on your side and you have that that different bond with your teacher um, and I only wish that every student of color at MHS every student with that comes from a diverse background has that same experience that I did now there are two parts to this imperative one is which we talked about, which is recruiting teachers of different of diverse backgrounds, and the second is um, retaining and supporting them. And this can be seen through imperative number imperative number three, which is cultural responsiveness and equity training for staff. And this will be key in the retention of diverse staff because it creates an inclusive and welcoming working environment. Teachers are already working in a very stressful environment, lots of students lots of interactions, and it only gets more stressful when the school provides a very unwelcoming and very um, non-inclusive non environment for these teachers of color, teachers of diverse backgrounds. So that's why it's really key to revisit imperative number three, because these two work really hand in hand with each other. So if you have any questions about that, um, revisit imperative number three video. And if you have any questions about imperative number five, go ahead and check that one out and feel free to ask us with any questions.